This is one example for a control matrix complementarity plot, as complementarity exists for a number of element pairs in the various chondrite groups. So in this particular one, there's silicon on the x-axis and magnesium on the y-axis, both in red percent. Now the first essence of complementarity is an observation that the chondrules and matrix have different compositions and together add up to the bulk chondrite composition. This sounds at first rather um, trivial, but there's one important twist I'll come to in a minute. So the chondrules are up here and the matrix is down here. Now by up here and down here I mean relative to the CI chondrite magnesium silicon ratio. Now the CI ratio is this dashed line here. And the chondrules have magnesium silicon ratios that are higher than the CI ratio. So this is higher than CI. Whereas the matrix has magnesium silicon ratios that are lower than the CI ratio. Now of course, chondrules and matrix together must form the bulk. But the important thing is that um, they, not, they not only form the bulk, but the bulk could plot anywhere on a mixing line between chondrules and matrix. So if this is the mixing line, then the bulk could plot anywhere on this line. Now this is um, of course the case that the bulk plots somewhere on this line, but it not only plots on this line, it plots on the intersection with the CI ratio exactly on this intersection. And this is not only observed for magnesium silicon in CR chondrites, but for different element pairs in different chondrites. And therefore it doesn't look like this is fortuitous that uh, the bulk plots at this intersection here. Now behind complementarity is a certain question, and this is quite important in this context here. And this question is whether chondrules and matrix, so if this is a protoplanetary disk, this is the sun, now this is the disk around the sun. And then the important question is whether chondrules form here in one reservoir with a certain magnesium silicon ratio and matrix forms here in another reservoir with a certain magnesium silicon ratio and then both are mixed together. Or whether chondrules and matrix form in one single reservoir together. So let's look at the plot again with these two scenarios in mind. If you mix them together, chondrules and matrix, from two reservoirs, then the bulk should plot somewhere on the line, but not on a very specific point. But because we observe that the um, mixing line, or the, the bulk, plots on the intersection of the mixing line with the CI ratio on a very specific point, and not only for this very particular meteorite and element pair, it seems rather more likely that chondrules and matrix form from one single chemical reservoir from which chondrules first form, because these are high temperature objects, and later the matrix formed. And this is the important interpretation from the chondromatrix complementarity.